Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about the fact that Google is moving closer to disabling Manifest V2 extensions with Manifest V3 extensions in the Google Chrome web browser. And one of those extensions that's going to be disabled is the popular ad blocker called uBlock Origin, as you may well know. Now, I'll leave a video I posted on this um, a couple of weeks ago i'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info but just to let you know that there is a way to keep on using uBlock origin for a little bit longer so at the end of the day what is happening is that google is turning off support um for uBlock origin for home users but it is giving enterprise customers an option to extend support by one more year for uBlock Origin. So basically, the good news is that you can actually also extend support um, of uBlock Origin in Chrome by one year. So that's an extra year. By enabling the policy, which is this policy, Extension Manifest V2 Availability. Now basically just a bit of a backtrack here before we have a look at, at how we can do this. The policy has the following values. If it's set to zero, then it's default behavior, so that's determined by Google Chrome and Google. If it's set to one, Manifest V2 is deactivated. This means that uBlock Origin won't work anymore. And if it's set to, set to two, which we're gonna do today in this video, Manifest V2 is enabled, so this extends support by a year. And it, what, how we do this is it um, enables having to fiddle around in the registry editor on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this is only applicable to extend support by another year of uBlock Origin and for uBlock Origin on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So it's not applicable to Mac OS or Linux and so on. So just take note of that. Only for Windows machines. So if you are comfortable to fiddle in the Windows Registry Editor, then what we need to do um, on Windows 10 and Windows 11 is head to our Start menu, right-click on it, click on Run, and then in the field, enter Reg Edit. Click on OK, and this will open up the Windows Registry Editor. Now, as I always suggest with these uh, videos we post regarding editing the registry, I would suggest heading to File and exporting the registry. It's, it's a quick process, it doesn't take long, and that's just a quick backup um, in case something goes wrong. So if something does go wrong, you can always import that backup as a quick safety net. So getting back to how we can extend support. So what we need to do in the registry editor is we need to navigate to the key, H key, local machine, and expand that. Then we head to the software key, we do the same, we expand that. And then we head down to policies and we expand that. Now, what you should see here is a key under policies called Google. Now, as you can see in my case, I'm not seeing it. So if you are not seeing the key Google under policies, then what you need to do is you need to right click on the previous key. So that would be policies. And then you need to create a new key and Rename that key to Google. There we go. And then once you've changed that to Google, then what you need to do on the Google key now is you need to right click on that and then create another key. So only do this if you are not seeing the Google key under policies, okay? So what we need to do now is name that key Chrome. There we go. And you just click in the empty space here to the right-hand side to apply all of that. So yeah, we've got Policies, Google, Chrome. So if you open Policies and you're not seeing Google and Chrome, then you need to create them as shown in the video. So now moving on. So now what we need to do is we need to right-click on Chrome and then select a new DWORD 32-bit value. So we're going to basically create the value now. And what we need to do is we need to name it to this policy as mentioned. 
extension manifest v2 availability so i'll leave this uh, down below in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference so what we do is we right click on that rename and then you can just paste that in or type that in so that's, that's extension manifest v2 availability and that's the policy now that we are creating that i've spoken about earlier on then what we need to do for the d word is we need to double click on that and then we need to set its value to two so its default value is zero so we need to set that to two and then what you do is you click on ok you can see it's set to two and then you x out of the registry editor and then you would have to restart your pc and what this does it enables the enterprise policy on your system using windows and then after that's been applied and you restart your pc chrome will not disable and the old system for extensions this year and that will extend support by another year now something else just to double check that this has all been applied after you restart your pc what you can do is head back to google chrome now i'm not going to restart my pc because obviously that's i mean um, it'll kill the recording so i'm not going to do that but i have done this before posting so what you need to do is to check this has all been put into place if you want to verify that the extension is set correctly what you need to do is head up to your omnibox in google chrome and enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash policy so that's chrome colon forward slash forward slash policy and yeah you'll see there is nothing set because I obviously had disabled that so I could um, rework that again to show you in the video. But I did take a screenshot after I'd enabled it um, before posting. And what you should see on this Chrome colon forward slash forward slash policies page is you should see extension manifest v2 availability as mentioned policy value is set to 2 which means um, manifest v2 is enabled this extends support by a year and there we go so just that's how you can double check so if you're not seeing that after you've applied and changed um, those registry keys and um, enabled that value then obviously you've done something wrong and you need to rework the process so that's how you can double check as mentioned extension manifest v2 availability policy set to value of two and if you want to um, revert the process, obviously you just follow the steps in this video and then you would just delete um, those keys that you have created, that Google Chrome key, and that then will um, remove everything and then put everything back to normal. So that's just a quick way on how you can extend uBlock Origin support in Chrome by one more year in case you were unaware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.